okay, I realize this is an episode of Star Trek, but the event that it is depicting is uh, an actual thing that really does happen in space. Here you can see a red giant and a white dwarf, and the uh, white dwarf is actually gravitationally pulling some of the hydrogen off of the red giant. It's building that up around itself until it eventually reaches a critical mass and detonates in an explosion we call a nova. Now right now one of these is happening in the constellation Ophiuchus. I had the opportunity to image one in the constellation Delphinius about I think back in 2013. Um, they're not visually all that impressive, it just looks like a star. But when you stop to think about what's really happening, that's what really makes it cool. First of all, these events are rare. This particular one that happens in Ophiuchus is periodic. It happens once about every 20 years or so, so you don't get an opportunity to image one very often. Tonight, I'm going to try to image the Ophiuchus Nova. Now, almost exactly eight years ago to the day, in 2013, I took this picture of a nova that occurred in the constellation Delphinius. Now, back then, I knew really nothing about astrophotography. I just strapped my older Canon T4i to my telescope and took some pictures. I didn't have a good equatorial mount at the time, so um, I can see some star trailing. There's really bad coma in this, a lot of noise, and all of the stars are a little bit out of focus. But I did capture the event, but tonight we're going to see if I can do a better job. Now, here I am in Stellarium. I'm trying to figure out which telescope to use. Should I use just the camera mounted to a star tracker? Should I bother to uh, hook up one of the telescopes, and if so, which one? Um, Stellarium is a great tool for this because you can actually uh, kind of program it with uh, your actual optics, so the, the focal length of your scope and whether or not you're using a reducer and, and those kind of things. And so it'll actually show you what your field of view is going to look like so I can kind of compose my shot ahead of time. Uh, I think I'll create a video about that topic in the future here. So here what we're looking at would be my Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. This would be about 1200 millimeters or something like that if I'm not mistaken and the um, I'll be able to see the Nova right here and just three other stars. So not a whole lot to look at in this field of view. If I decide to go with an extreme amount of zoom, I could just do the uh, schmidt cassegrain at the full F10 with no reducer. And that's going to zoom me in on the target itself, but I'm not really going to have a whole lot in there. I might be able to rotate this a little bit and get a couple extra stars. Could make for kind of a boring looking picture. So um, if I want to get a little bit of something else in there, it might be better to use the Raza or even just the camera with a 400 millimeter lens on it. At 400 millimeters, my target will be much smaller but I will have some other things to look at. So that might make for a little bit of a more interesting uh, composition. Here you can see quite a few stars. Now the cool thing about this Nova is it's quite bright. It's about magnitude five, which means that it's a naked eye object. You should be able to see this with your naked eye or if you're under light polluted skies, maybe if you use uh, some binoculars or something it might give you a little bit of extra. Um, but I don't think that a whole lot of reach is going to give me any benefit with this. Usually stellar targets, uh, you don't really see any significant detail just by making it larger. So um, I think I'm going to go with the Raza.
that's not right. That looks right. All right, it looks like it looks like I found it. It's that bright one right there. Um, yeah, looks like it's coming out good. This is only my second time using this telescope, so I was a little worried that I'd encounter some technical trouble uh, since I'm only just now learning how it works and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it's coming together. Good stuff. Mm -hmm.